Hey guys, and welcome to the channel. Very excited to be going through some practice problems for you all. Um, so if you're studying for the FE civil section and you want to get some practice in with analytic geometry, this is the perfect video for you. Today I'm gonna be going over three different practice problems that I hope helps you all out. Um, I failed the FE twice, so very important that you're able to master all the concepts. And so on this channel, I'm gonna be going through every single topic and doing practice problems on every single topic so that you can master every concept. So let's get straight into it. So problem number one, it says, find the midpoint of the line segment joining the points 10, one and negative eight, negative one. So whenever I am going through the problems, I try to think, am I gonna need my FE manual for this particular problem? And judging that it is two points and I just need to find the middle of the line, I do. I know, I have some background knowledge and I know that I'm not gonna need the handbook just because um, I know that if I have two points, along the x and i just divide uh, the length by two i know i can get the midpoint of it so um just some general logic for this practice problem so um i will give you all a kind of a formula for it and i don't mind me my handwriting is not the best so i know that to find the midpoint of a line Let's undo that. That line is a little too thick. All right. So I know. So I know that my X one plus my X two value divided by two is going to give me the midpoint of my X value. And I know that vice versa, that's going to give me my Y value. So we're just going to say the first point, 10, one is my uh, first point, And we're going to say negative eight, negative one is my second point. So I'm just going to say 10 plus a negative eight, all right? And we divide that by two. So that is uh, a brain fart, but two divided by two which equals one for my X value. And for my Y value, we just have one minus or plus a negative one. And we're gonna divide that by two. Right. And that's gonna give us zero over two, which is just zero. So the midpoint between those lines it's just gonna be one comma zero. And so what I wanna do is, is just think logically through that. If we have a line, I mean, we have a graph, right? And don't mind my squiggly drawing, <laughs> but let's just say this is 10, this is one one of my points is there, right? And we'll just say this is negative eight. And we'll just say it's my negative one. All right, so those are my, those are my two points. And if I'm trying to find 
uh, the midpoint between those two points, right? Then probably right about here, it looks like that could be this thing. <laughs> Stop messing with me. That looks like that could be one zero, right? So uh, this makes logical sense. So uh, hopefully that was helpful. Hopefully that was pretty clear. Um, so that's problem number one. Let's jump over to problem number two. And I will get rid of all this stuff. And if you're finding value out of this video, um, please don't forget to uh, like it, share it, and subscribe to the channel. Um, it really does help the channel out, and it pushes it pushes this stuff to more people, which is, you know, going to help more people pass this thing. So, um, I've been a civil engineer for going on two years. I graduated from uh, UNC Charlotte. I don't know if you can see that kind of in the background. Um, but I, I enjoy what I do. I always been pretty good at math. So it's just something that I've been blessed with. And so I'm figured I'd share and practice with you all. All right. So problem number two says that the coordinates, uh, and I'm turning my head everywhere. The coordinates of the vertices of the triangle shown, um, which we don't have a triangle shown, but you know, uh, a is one seven, B is five two, and C is five seven. What is the length of the segment AB in units? So thinking through this problem, would or can I use my FE manual for this problem? I'm just going through, and since I've been using the FE manual for a while, I know that yes, it, I can use a formula out of, out of the manual to help me solve this problem. So if you're not familiar with your FE manual, please get familiar with it. Um, so we're going to jump over to the FE manual quickly. And if you search your mathematics, search for your mathematics section, on this particular manual, it looks like it kind of starts on page 35. You're going to see a bunch of different formulas. So it's at scan. It says, what is the length of the segment? So when we think of length, we're thinking of distance. All right. What is the distance? Um, so in this, in the manual, it says the distance between two points is D equals the square root of y is, uh, squared minus y1 or y2 minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared. So we have a y2 and a y1 and we have two values for the x. So we definitely can use this, this to get the distance. So I'm going to just take a screenshot of this so that You all can see it and you don't have to look at my obnoxious handwriting. All right. And let's blow that up for you all. Cool. Looks pretty good. Hopefully you can see that. Let's go back to the draw. All right. So let's put this formula into action. All right. So. I'm going to say A, I'm just going to say A is my first point, first point, and B is my second point. Okay. All right. So Y2 or what's the value of, what's the Y value of B? 
that's going to be 2 minus what's the value my y value of a 1 all right Oops. all squared and add that all right what's the value of my x for b five and I'm subtract that from one All right yes Uh, did I do that right? No, I did not. I'm sorry. Looking at A and B. So it should be a uh, two minus seven. And let's just, uh, not doing that. Okay, delete. All right, let's try this again. And hopefully you're a lot faster than me. All right, so it should be uh, two minus seven plus, and then you got five minus one. All right, so this equals negative five squared plus four squared, take the square root of all that. It's gonna give you 25 plus 16. And then that's the square root of 41, looks like. All right, so what is the square root of 41? Well, I can't do that in my head. So um, I got 6.0. Good grief. I don't think this thing wants me to be great today. So like this. And delete all that. All right, let's try this again. All right, so the square root of 41, I got 6.40, basically. Um, so that is the distance between our segment A, B. So hopefully this made sense. Um, I apologize for the handwriting, um, but you saw that we were able to just pull the formula from our FE handbook. And this is what we want to do. We just want to um, use our FE handbook to our advantage if we know that we can um, solve this. And also, if you all have questions, please be sure to leave them down in uh, the comment section because, you know, if there's something that's unclear, I want to be able to go through it. All right, and this is problem number three. So hopefully you stuck around uh, to this to this point. Um, so I'm gonna get right into it. So a line with equation y equals mx plus b passes through the points p1, which is negative two, two, and p2, which is two comma zero. So what are the values of m and b? So if you have been doing math for a while, and I'm assuming that you have, you know that y equals mx plus b is a clear formula where m is the slope. So being that if, if we can find the slope, which is m between the two points, it seems as if we could find b as well so what is the formula for 
Um, what's our what's the formula for slope? All right. Well, I know that slope is just rise. My pen does not want me to be great today. But you know what? This is my first time doing this exercise. So, in the 70 other videos that I'll be making, I'm sure it'll be, or hopefully it's a lot better than this. Right. Over. Right. Okay. So my slope is equal to rise over run, right? So what is the rise from point one to point two? Uh, this is y over x. Right. So zero minus two over two minus negative two. Okay. So I get negative two over four. Cool. That just means that my M, my M is equal to negative a half. So now that I have my slope, I can now solve for to find B. I got my M, now it's time to find B. So Y equals My y equals, I know this is negative a half, right? This is x plus b. Cool. So now I can plug in just a point from either point one or point two to find b. So I'm going to use point two because I just feel like it's a lot easier. <laughs> so, uh, that means I'm going to use two and zero. So times what's my X value? All right, cool. So after those cancel, I am left with negative one plus B zero. So one equals one equals B. And hopefully I did that right. But yes, so now we got, we know that B is equal to one. And we know that M is equal to a negative a half. So hopefully this video was helpful for you. Um, struggled a little bit with this pen, but uh, got it together at the end. So if you found some value out of this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and be sure to check out all of my other uh, content for more practice uh, problems. Hopefully this was helpful um, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace y'all.